Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, Dean of DVD polished off my Crystal Head Vodka today and uh, filled it with uh, water and then an orange uh, food coloring. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. I don't know how much you can see there, but it's looking nice. Figure I can dump that every once in a while, put red in, put green in, put black in. Purple, clear, pretty neat. I got another one coming. Gift set that has a uh, that has a crystal head uh, champagne glass with it. So that's pretty neat. Uh, this is a response to Trey Passer, who wanted to know what five movies would I keep if I can only keep five, like Desert Island type stuff. Only five. I could only keep five. So. Uh, let's see. I'm going to eliminate a lot of things. I'm going to eliminate box sets. I say they don't count. And if I see anybody posting box sets, I will tell you that, um, but a box set, I mean, uh, multiple movies. If it's one movie in a box set, I'm fine with that. Like Casablanca in the, in the, uh, you know, 70th anniversary box. That's fine. It's still only one movie, but it would not include, for instance, the, uh, uh, oh, I don't know, the, uh, Stanley Kubrick would not include the Stanley Kubrick set, which has got essentially like eight or nine movies on it. So no Stanley Kubrick, no to the Stanley Kubrick, yes to the, to the Casablanca <clears throat> or to the Wizard of Oz. You can't see it, but it's up there. My lighting is because I've got the skull going. I've got uh, reduced lighting in here, but um, let me show you the, the five I think I would, I would take or I would keep whatever you want to look at it. Uh, first up would be, yeah, Citizen Kane. This is the Ultimate Collector's Edition. I keep this one. It's pretty cool. Um, it, uh, it's it got a multiple uh, discs with it. Yeah. It also came with the Magnificent Ambersons, but I wouldn't count that because it's not, it's a second movie. So I would just include this one. And you can see what comes with it. So there's a making of and the battle over. And I like all the extra stuff that comes with this one. Anyway, Citizen Kane, one of my favorite movies. I would definitely keep that one. That's one of one of the five. Let me go to a plain blue right now. One I just started to watch tonight. I've seen the movie many, many times, though. And that is Lawrence of Arabia. Man, does this one look good on Blu-ray? Um, yeah, it looks really sharp. I mean, it, it's just the desert scenes are, are amazing. The sky looks great. I mean, it's just, just incredible looking. And uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, as I said. It's a long movie, too. I remember the exact uh, time it plays, but it's long. Yeah, two two plus hours, as I recall. It's on there. Some of my eyes just aren't that good. And with the light down as it is, uh, it's, uh, it's hard, a little hard to see. So Lawrence of Arabia would be definitely one I would keep. So that's, uh, so far, I've got uh, Citizen Kane and Lawrence of Arabia. Uh, yeah, the next one I would probably keep, but you know, I had a whole list made up. Let's see, I, I'll have to refer to my iPad. I made up a list of the ones I would, I would keep and, uh, I probably should call, call it up since I made, made, went to the trouble of actually making the list. I ought to at least take a look at it and refresh my memory. But so far, those two were definitely on it. Oh, Yeah. Okay, I'm not, I'm not sure all of them are here. <laughs> I may have to punt on a couple. I may not have all of them here with me, but I certainly know them and can speak to them. Um, the ones I have here, I'm going to endeavor to, to drag out so you can see them. A um, little visual aid never hurts anything, right? So that's what I'm attempting to do right now while I search. I'll let the skull uh, do its thing. Let's see here. <sighs> <laughs> Boy, you know, when you have a lot of uh, movies, it's never easy. To, it's never that easy to get a hold of what you need sometimes, huh? It takes twice as long as you think it should to get a hold of something because it's just um, kind of buried. Here we go. Here's one that uh, always been a favorite movie of mine. It's not a digi book. I loved it for years. Uh, it was an Academy Award winner, won eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture in 1984. I like it because it's got uh, music with it. 
uh, and, and not just any music, some of the greatest music ever written. And the movie is Amadeus, the story of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Dramatized, of course. See, I don't think he really died under the circumstances that they lead you to believe in this movie. But hey, you know what? It's a movie. It's not a documentary. So people who uh, have a problem with, with uh, how it ends and... Um, I say they made, made a dramatic movie out of his life. I think it's kind of cool. But a lot of it is true. Like the Digi book, like the movie. Amadeus would make my uh, top five movies that I would that would stick around with me. Yeah, I like it. I like it that it's a Digi book too. I think that's kind of cool. Um, so that is three. The fourth one I don't think I have up here. Uh, I think it's downstairs. I have two. Essentially, two places where I keep all my DVDs uh, and Blu-rays. You've seen this one up here. It's in the bedroom, which is where I end up usually watching a lot of these. Um, you know, I get relegated to this room because nobody wants to watch um, what I want to watch. So, you know, they watch uh, whatever they're watching, the kids and my wife. They wanted to watch The Blind Side tonight. And I've seen The Blind Side. I like The Blind Side. I've seen it a million times, but I still enjoy it. Uh, that would not be one that I would, I would take with me. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, it is a good movie. Uh, but next, I would take... Um, well, I would take this movie... You know, this next movie I would take because it's my wife's favorite. And, and it's a box set that I've had for a, quite a long time. I picked it up for, I don't know, maybe $30 off of eBay or something. It was a pretty good price whenever I got it. And that is the Blu-ray box set of the, of the great movie, Gone with the Wind. It's a limited edition of 150000 I've got number 30000 803 of this one. It was, this was my actually my first uh, YouTube video I ever made. I made a spoof of um, somebody that was known by the name of Fast Eddie or One Fast GT or something. I think it was One Quick GT. I, I've taken him off my list. He ripped off some folks and uh, I took him off. I, I don't even know if he's still making videos. I haven't heard anything from him in, in a long time. So my guess is he's not or he's under a new name or something. I kind of liked the guy initially, but he uh, proved to be not a uh, not a trustworthy individual. But Gone with the Wind, it's like a, a red velvet case on this thing. Got tons of extras on it. You really like this one. So I would keep that because my wife likes it. It's her favorite movie. And you know what? It's a great movie. Depicting the war, the, the Civil War. So that's four. Um, and and you know, I said they, not, they aren't all up here, but maybe... Uh, I can make them all be up here because I'm, I'm looking at my movies here and, and making some decisions as I as I go along and you know there's certain movies that uh, are classics that you want to hang on to and I think this will be the last one right here I think is what I'll what I'll say um, yeah I think this will be the one right here how about it how about this one, folks? The Wizard of Oz. Limited edition. Out of only 243,000. This is number 146,805. Ah, it's a classic movie. It came out the same year as, as uh, Gone with the Wind. Great movie. Great performances. Memorable songs. Uh, it's just a great movie all, overall. This is a pretty cool edition. You've got a watch in it and a lot of stuff. 70th anniversary and... Uh, I had to patch the box up a little bit. It was starting to fall apart. But I, I did a nice job, I think. I managed to uh, do some careful gluing. and um, I managed to make it better than new. So Better than it was when it was new. So it, it uh, yeah. Wizard of Oz, 70th anniversary. I think that's five. Wizard of Oz, Citizen Kane, Gone with the Wind, Lawrence of Arabia, and Amadeus. You know, and maybe, you know, I get some honorable mentions, but, um, you know, maybe maybe for the kids, maybe E.T. on the Digi book. Pretty cool movie. Steven Spielberg probably at the height of his goodness. And you got, uh, you know, Star Wars. Uh, you know, probably Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi would be best. Maybe even the first one. You've got... Uh, Oh, something like um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. To my m money, the the best of the bunch, and I think they went downhill from there. But you may you may disagree, but I think they had they did. 
Uh, I like some of the Batman movies, but I don't think I'd save them. I think it's the five I said. I think those are the five I want to stick with. The only one that that I switched out uh, here, I, well, I switched out two because I decided that I wasn't going to go for concerts. I originally had the 25th anniversary of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame concert, which is just a classic, classic concert. I have it on DVD instead of Blu-ray. I wish I had it on Blu-ray. I had that one on the list, but I determined that probably that wouldn't be one of them. Um, and I had a few good men on the list. That's the Jack Nicholson, Tom Cruise uh, movie, which I love. And I've watched it just a ton of times. Uh, really enjoy it. You know, and another one, I'll give another honorable mention, as long as I'm kind of mentioning a bunch of stuff. And that's The Stand, Stephen King's The Stand. You know, I, I don't think it got great reviews. It was a TV, like, miniseries, like a three-night thing or something. I uh, love that movie. Love It also by Stephen King. But anyway, the, the five that I said are the five that I'm sticking with. And that's it. So, um, hope I win, but uh, I never do. So, I wish whoever wins uh, good luck. I'm a winner just for having this skull emptied out. And let me tell you something. The vodka in it, incredible. Really, I got another one coming, as I said, and... I'm buying a little one, um, the one that uh, has the uh, the gift uh, set. The guy from the liquor store's got to go get it for me. It's his set at one of the, his own liquor stores. He's going to go pick it up for me because they're in short supply. But the little ones, and the little ones are maybe, you know, yay big, something like that, maybe half the size. My son wants one of those when I empty him out. He's 14, so it won't take me long to drink it, and I'll, I'll drink it. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy the skull. And uh, good luck to whoever wins the contest. And good luck, Paul, uh, with your channel. It's, it's very, uh, very entertaining. I always enjoy watching you and, and uh, listening to you. And um, Many more years of uh, YouTubing on your channel, I hope. Look forward to more from you. All right, guys. I love the skull. Take care.